Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is a Redstone 4 build, Windows build 17017 for PC. This is for the fast ring on Skiphead. And this build introduces a couple of new features. In the Microsoft blog post, they uh, talk about Cortana collections where you can... Uh, where Cortana will remember things and put together collections. This is US only, and I've tried playing around with Cortana, changing my regions, and I've tried going to different uh, sites, like they show book sites and something like this, a book site, but it hasn't sort of brought anything up yet, so um, it maybe that's detecting my region and uh, it's not working yet, but I'll keep trying playing with that. But aside from that, there are some other good things, and... Um, one of the things is that Cortana notifications that would normally sort of pop up as a separate action now are going to start populating over here uh, in the um, in the action center. So they're going to start bringing these uh, Cortana actions into action center and sort of merge them together. So uh, it makes sense to bring these together all into action center. These um, th these notifications. Now, one thing that it now, one of the else that's new is um, startup options and apps. So if we go to apps now and have a look at startup, which is this new section, and here you can see we've got um, two apps that are running on startup, uh, Defender and OneDrive, and OneDrive's got what's classed as high uh, impact. So that's showing that that is affecting the startup performance. That's fine. I, I want OneDrive to to start up automatically and uh, and sync. Of course, with Redstone 3, for creators update, you've got the OneDrive files on demand. So I want that. So I can leave that on and Defender, I want that on as well. But if you find there's something else in there, some browser adding or some other app that's on there that you think you actually you don't really need starting up, you can just turn it off. And I think that's a, a good way of working and being able to easily see what's having causing impact in your startup settings and to control that. Some of the other changes in this, there's, there really is a few bug fixes from the previous one. So um, they fixed a problem where insiders are experiencing uninstalled apps. Uninstalled apps may actually um, reinstall after a, boot, a reboot. They fixed an issue with Cortana syncing your settings. They fixed an issue with the storage settings would crash. Um, I found that as well. So that's okay now. I go to storage. And uh, we can we can work on that. That's fine. They fixed an issue where Action Center wouldn't scroll. I definitely have uh, seen that as well. So if you go into Action Center, um, that wasn't scrolling, and it is now. Um, so yeah, that's all working. Uh, they fixed some issues with dismissing Action Center, some touchscreen issues, and uh, I noticed an issue as well with touch where if I go into settings and say like like this and go to Windows Update. And doing that check for update wouldn't work. And I'm tapping that on the screen with my finger. You can't you can't see that, I know, but I'm tapping that and it's not working. And uh, none of these see that's so some of these options are working and some of them aren't. So I'm tapping that check for updates, it's not working. If I do check for updates, then that works. But other things like change active hours is working. And see there, that's not working. So there are still issues with with some touch on this. They fixed issues with um, some error message when updating the, the builds. In fact, I had a problem updating this build, but it wasn't just me. It was everybody at Microsoft had an issue with that, and uh, they fixed that now. Um, if you're missing something like... Uh, the, Microsoft gone back to posting known issues, actually, as well, I should say. And if you're fi missing something like uh, features on demand, such as Windows Media Player, there's a post on the Feedback Hub that will um, show you how to fix that. And swiping gestures with touch in Action Center is currently not working. You got it, so you can't um, say dismiss something from here. I'm using my finger. You can't see, see that, but but then it kind of kind of worked. There, I think that's because I tapped on it. Um, but that's not working. And the other known issues: if you run into um, issues when you're RDP and remote desktoping onto uh, your machine with certain GPU configurations, you might get a black screen. If you wait, eventually it'll recover. And I think the display driver recovers and you can connect up. So those are the main changes with this build. We're on Redstone 4. We're going to start to see some more. In the previous build, we saw some of these highlight options. So this, more of this is coming, the um, Fluid Design.
And there's a lot more to come for Redstone 4. Early days yet. Redstone 3 is just being released on October 17th. So expect a lot more for Redstone 4. We've got another six months at least. Thanks for watching this video. You can see more on the digitallifestyle.com.